Hey everybody, 47 Mark IV here, back with Dire Wolf 20. So I want to continue our work in the book. Uh, I've built a little bit more, kind of cleaned the place up. I mean, not really significant change. Uh, I did want to show you that I've partially automated the uh, Starlight Infuser. So I've got a couple of mechanical users on it. And this one, no, let's see, this one's got... The resonating wand in it and it's just clicking the altar all the time this guy over here accepts input from the crafter and you know that's where it'll click on uh the glass or the resonating gem and then when the resonating gem pops off the range collector picks it up back to refined storage now the thing that i'm missing to completely automate it is a way to get starlight in there and there is a way i need myself a block and let's just pull up everything astral. Uh, this guy right here, the containment chalice. So apparently getting this thing and putting it uh, with, you know, that will allow it to pull liquid starlight from the chalice. So I'd like to see if I can work towards that. Uh, we do need to get the ritual altar up and going. And we need to work on some of our crystals. So got a lot to do. Uh, I think I want to get the ritual altar going first here. It should be pretty simple. I've got it laid out in our table already. Yep, right there. So I'm going to go ahead and start crafting this guy. And we'll let that guy cook up. And then, you know, we can play with this one a little bit. And I'll show you where I'm going with the crystals. And we'll probably upgrade the table. So we can hopefully make that other thing and completely automate the Starlight Infuser. All right, so this guy right here. So if I understand this one right, I should just be able to make this structure, which, I mean, really isn't that hard. It's like a big plus sign with the corners filled in. And then stick it right here. And then I need to put some crystals on it. So let's see. Where are you? You're not in that chapter. Uh, let's see. How about this one? Yeah, Starlight Infuser. Nope. All right, one more try. How about right here in attunement? Probably makes sense because I got to put attuned things on it. Yeah, right here. Ritual pedestal. Uh, blah, blah, blah. You need to put stuff on it. There it is. And then it tells you that if you do things like give it more starlight, then things will happen faster. All right. So we're going to need a couple of things. Uh, to make an effect, I'm going to have to attune a crystal to one of the uh, constellations and then i'll need to make myself a collector crystal to fire at it and i mean that's pretty easy we need to attune things anyways so i've been working on a couple of crystals over here and i'm starting kind of with tier one yeah these guys are done with their bath so i've taken some crystals did that just pop out of nowhere that was kind of creepy uh let's see are you guys oh your max size you need to go back in so i just took a couple that had good cutting and i've been soaking them in the starlight nothing special about that structure it was just a copy of that one and then you know i plucked out a bunch of holes so i've got these rock crystals in here already which have pretty decent purity uh and so what i'm going to do i guess i'm going to take these guys and we're going to go ahead and get ready to attune things I feel like it should be nighttime. I feel like something's wrong. Didn't our uh, thing fire off here? Hold on. Is it right there? No. Right here? What's wrong with you? Redstone control. Right? When you get a redstone signal. And so you're a... Uh, oh, you're a nighttime sensor. I must have whacked it. There we go. Likewise, at daytime. Now, I've been, I did play around with it because, you know, I had to turn the night off while in between episodes because I remembered our void miners are solar powered. They haven't been running for a while. Ah, there we go. All right. So let's go ahead and get some attunements going. Uh, and what I'm going to need is I'm going to need some relays here. Is that what they're called? Yeah. Spectral relays. And I'm going to need my book. And I think I'm going to go after Dissidia. Yeah, because I'm pretty sure Dissidia, let's see, right over here, 
uh, yeah, fracturing small fractions in the area create a damaging field. So I'd like to play a little bit around with this one because I want to blow some mobs up. I think that sounds like fun. So let's go ahead and get Dissidia. And, you know, I'm debating if I want uh, Amara. Because I think Amara is defensive uh, for myself. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Yeah, resist harm. You know, that might be handy for me. Uh, so I don't get hurt so much. So maybe we'll attune this guy to... Let's attune ourselves to Amara first. So I don't actually throw myself into it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do that. All right, so let's grab Amara. Let's see. Amara. And I'm going to put this guy in my offhand. And I'll grab those things. They're kind of small. Sometimes they're hard to see. All right, so find the blue dots. Uh, hello? Why are you clicking the drawing instead of... There we go. Just too far away. So let's go ahead and we'll put these down in the pattern. Right there. Uh, I feel like you're right here. And you're right there. Shouldn't that have been everybody? Didn't I miss one? Is the constellation not out? Wait, let me just look around here. There's you. Right? Isn't that you? Maybe you're not high enough in the sky. Maybe I've got to break and replace. Unless I... Oh, no, no, I missed. I missed. I missed. What do you think? That one goes there? Yeah, I missed. Oh, and then I broke the pedestal. There we go. All right, so that one's up and running. So I'm going to go ahead and throw myself into it. And then we'll do uh, Dissidia afterwards, and we'll get some of this ritual effect going on. but always a little twitchy at least i think so right um but you know okay done once now i forgot what we've got to do go fight maybe to make my uh yeah let's see put this in my hand shouldn't i have a bar over here yeah perks right right here tough skin active there's the bar so i've got to go ahead and you know get beat i think all right, got that one done, so let's get to Cydia here. And we'll go ahead and find these things. So I'll put that there, put this here, that one there. Yeah, if I did this the other way around, there's like a 100% chance I would accidentally throw myself into it. I've only done it like every single time I've played with it. Are you on the right spot? I'm not sure. Sometimes a little smoky particle in this is hard to determine. Am I here? Am I there? Boy, I feel like everybody's in the right spot, but maybe Dissidia is not in the sky. Oh, no! It's not in the sky! Ah, so I'd have to forward the day and hope that it's in the sky tomorrow. All right, so I'll give that one shot. We'll give that one try, and then if that doesn't work, we'll, uh, you know, we'll try something else. So let's see. Time. Moonrise. Maybe I should just leave this block open. I don't know, I'll think about it. Uh, do I want to do that? Because that's a great place for a mob to spawn. Here, I'll put it there. Alright, so we'll just wait for the day to go by. Sun's just trucking. Alright. Constellation should be coming up. Oh man, I do not see it. I don't see it in the sky. Ah, that's too bad. Right? 
All right, well, let's see what the other ones do. Let's take a look here. If I did uh, Constellations, and we actually did do Amara. Uh, let's see. Creates a small force field, reflecting, reflecting projectiles and pushing mobs. Well, that could be fun. All right. But, oh, wait, 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 wait. Did it come up? Oh, well, it's got to be in the sky somewhere. Yeah. All right, let's check some crystals in there before something decides to do something different. So I think I'm going to get this one as the ritual effect, and then I'm going to make a collector crystal. Let's see, right here. Yeah, and I think I can attune the collector crystal. Yeah, I got to do the attunement first. Okay. There we go. One down, one to go. Right, so I think I can set this guy on here. Yep, and so particles are happening. So it's trying to do the ritual, but can't. Doesn't have enough power. Come on, dude. Come on. Give me the crystal. All right, so now we got this guy. So let's go ahead. I'll just chuck him in here for the moment. And let's go make ourselves a... You know, it never works when I type collector. So an attuned? Nope. I don't like keep putting in crystal because then it's over here. All right, so illumination powder, stardust, resonating gems. All right, can do. Uh, stardust. And we're going to need... Resonating gems, I got a bunch, and that illumination powder. Good thing I made a lot of it. Oh, and I can take this guy out of my hand. All right, so let's take one more look at the recipe. Because, you know, so good at remembering. Let's see. Right here. All right, so resonating gems in the corners, and star dust on the inside. Okay, can do. Resonating gems in the corners, and then stardust on the inside, and then that makes this guy go here. Right? And then you're going to become one of those guys. And then I'll put that there, and we can link that there. Cool. And then I should be able to move that effect around, uh, but I might have to make some more stuff. I don't know. This is why we do this. This is exploration. Now, I went ahead and selected these specific crystals because they had a high purity, and I just kept throwing them in the starlight and grinding them until they were uh, max in the other categories, right? So the cutting was 100%, and then I grew them up to 400%. So then if I throw you, let's say, right there, and uh, we need our linking tool. Let's see, linking tool right here. And I link you to here. Yeah, now the ritual's active. And now it's shooting off this beam right here. And so that beam tells me that I need to reflect that back. So I need to make something. Is it a, is it a lens? Yeah, this guy right here, a lens. And so this cares about what kind of rock crystal it is. And, you know, we'll get into making celestial crystals in a minute. I've got another good crystal over here. Uh, let's see, right in here. Uh, boy, these, I thought these were gonna be bigger. I thought they were gonna be bigger. Yeah, okay, we'll take this one. It's not really as perfect as I wanted, but it's probably good enough to make lenses. All right, so aquamarine, glass lenses, wood, ruined, and gold. I've already got gold and ruined. All right, so I need wood. All right, and I've got aquamarine on me. Okay, so let's go ahead and get this guy going. Let's see, lens. Lens, lens, lens. All right, oh, I needed those lenses. I need those lenses. I made a bunch of these in between just so I wouldn't have to stop and craft them all. Right there. All right, here we go. 
So I should be able to put those guys there. And I think the crystal goes in the middle. Uh, let's see. Aquamarine and wood and then rune. Okay. Aquamarine. Uh, wood. And then where do I have runed? Was it runed there? Oh, gold and then runed right there. Okay, so right here, right there. Piece of gold. There we go. So I can make all of this stuff better later on with better uh, crystals. I just wanted to play with kind of the base version just to start. You know, they're not terribly handy except for making stuff like this. So let's go ahead and get this guy. And this should make me several of these. Let's see. I'm going to use some of this marble to build up with. Here we go. Got several lenses. How many did I get? I got five. Okay, that's pretty cool. All right. So then this one is shooting off over here. So I feel like you're shooting off right here, maybe. Right? Just like that. And then I should be able to put my lens down. And then I think I link this guy back here. Yep. It seems like, oh, things lit up. And now I've got another offshoot. All right. Back up here. Link this one. All right. We'll reflect this one back here. Okay. That's working. Do we have any other offshoots? So only two. That must be just because of the power that this thing has. Like, it's kind of low power. All right, so then I understand I can move this. That, let's see, let's come here. I think somewhere here it tells me that I can move this around. Uh, not there. Let's see, constellations, knowledge, come back over here. Yeah, this guy, the ritual anchor. That focus starlight into a ritual pedestal allows the structure to manifest the attunement in the world. Uh, <clears throat> unfortunately, the structure required to maintain the crystal's integrity can take up a lot of space. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I got to put that above. Now, is that a specific spot? Like, I don't know. How many blocks would that be? Like one, two, three, like four, and then set it down, maybe? I don't know, but we will find out. So let's see if we can make one of these guys. Uh, ritual Anchor. So I need glass panes. I need a resonating gem, gold ingots, and some nuggets. All right, I feel like I'm filling up here just a little bit. I think I'm doing generally okay. All right, uh, let's see. We're going to need some of those. Let's go ahead and try this guy. All right, so gold nugs. Go right here. Don't need that one. Need this guy. Uh, let's see, glass lenses. Right there on either side of this gem. And then regular panes and stardust. Uh, let's see, regular panes. All right, and stardust. Yeah, that right there. Oh, cool, that makes two. So they must come in like bound pairs. And that's what I want to figure out. So we'll make a couple of these. We'll go set it over there. This one should stop mobs from bothering me so much. At least when I'm down on the ground. And I'm going to guess its range is affected by how much of this I can pump into it. And so we got to work on making that better. But I also want to upgrade the, uh, upgrade the table. So what I'll do here... Let's see... Let's see if we can build up and over this guy. Let's go ahead and we'll just kind of we'll just kind of guess here. I know that ruined the ritual. Right? One, two, three. Maybe here? Maybe that's the spot. Like right there. All right, so you should turn back on. Cool. And now these things are beaming out in a different direction. Of course. Now the question is, do I link it back up there? Oh, I wonder if you go one block higher. Wonder if you go one block higher. You know, I bet you, I'll bet you anything that that goes like one more. Let's, uh, let's try. 
This is why I do this. I don't know about this block. I want to learn. Right there. Do you go right there and receive all the power? I feel like you might. I don't know. Does it tell me in the book? Does it tell me? No, it doesn't give me a dimension. Oh, wait, it does. It does. Nine by nine by seven. All right, so you're one, you're two, you're three. You're four, right? No, this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ah, we had it right the first time. We had it right the first time, right there. Okay, silly me, but now I know how to figure that out. All right, pick up all of these guys, and then I should be able to lens. Let's see, it's right here. All right, so let's go ahead and lens this guy. I might have to move some of these around, uh, and then I will reflect you. Now, do I, do I take you up here? Let's see, right there. No, it won't let me select it. So it must go back. Oh no, it said linked lens to ritual anchor. Isn't that how that works? I don't know. Maybe it shoots back down here? Because I don't see any beam going up there. Let's uh let's do this. Stop linking. Link you to there. Ritual pedestal. And then maybe this guy just charges up. So if I set this guy down somewhere else, like right there, hmm, I was expecting something. I could swear I just set that down, but maybe I've got to build that entire pedestal. Let's look here. Let's look. Uh, it can take up a lot of space. It is, re <laughs> it is possible to redirect the ritual's effect using constructed linking stone placed five blocks above the ritual pedestal and then linked to a matching stone some distance away. Oh, well, are you five blocks above? I really don't feel like I have it right. I really don't. One, two. No, I think you are, but I think it's, maybe it's the linking. This is why I have to explore. Select the ritual anchor. And then can I do this? Ah, there we go. And now it's going to put out its uh, particles. Okay. Cool. Ah, that's how that does that. Okay. So I just need to feed this guy more power. And to do that, I know exactly how to do that. I just got to make some better crystals. So let's uh, start cooking a few of these guys up. And then I want to make one more thing. So I'm going to need Stardust, and I'm just going to take any old Junk Crystal. So what I do know about the mod, let's see, got my ring off, is that you have to make Celestial Crystals. They're going to need to grow, and it doesn't matter what you put in for a crystal, because once you start this process, you're re-rolling the stats on the crystal. So I'm going to go ahead. Oh, I can't even see where I put those. And I'm just going to start this cooking down on a whole bunch of these crystals and you know we'll play with making some of these better next time yeah right here oh you've got two in you you got two and i get that yeah i would say without picking up the other one uh let's see put one of you and one of you and one of you and one of you cool who else has stardust in them i don't think you do so you and you, cool. So I'm going to let all those cook down and we'll play with those later. So the last thing here is I want to upgrade the altar. So altar. Let's get an iridescent altar. So that's all ruined. Oh, I need a celestial crystal for this. Oh, no. Oh, I'm going to have to wait until next time because I got to let these guys grow up. And, you know, it's just making me wonder. The growing up part takes a while. Yeah, I wish these guys were bigger. You know what I'm probably going to do is I'm probably, yeah, see, just like that. I'm going to soak down some more of these other crystals, because that's all I've got at the moment. And I think I'll make collector crystals, 
and see, see if I can do a thing. And you know, I'm just going to borrow this guy for a minute. Boy, I hope that wasn't bad to do. Because I want to know if this is a thing. Could I take a crystal, like drop it like right here, and link this guy down there and beam some power into it and maybe it'll grow faster? Because here's the hard part. I just got to wait now at this point. Yeah, so I think that's what I'll do. I'll probably make some more of these guys until I can make a whole bunch of those guys. But I want to go play with this ritual here for just a second. So let's beam some power back into this guy. Link you to you. Right? And then these guys should be linked together, and I want to see if this is performing uh, a valid thing. And I might have to link them, I'm not sure. So let's just take one look at the anchor. Uh, let's see, blah blah blah, some distance away. So this one was... What did I tune this guy to? Doesn't say. What did I attune you to? I don't remember. Did I attune them to... I attuned them to Zidia. I had to play around with uh, this block here a little bit because I just wasn't getting it. Like, it wasn't really working. Well, now I get it. So every time one of these reflections happened, I thought I had it, but no. There were more that would show up, and now the thing's doing this weird lightning kind of electric thing, and I've got the symbol on the ground. Yes, look at all that, like, pew pew going on. So that tells me that this must be working pretty good. Uh, that we've got some power going on here. Yeah, just like that. So I want to go play with this guy. And here's what I'm thinking. Let's go down here. And I left this guy sitting right up here. Oh, uh, yeah, look at all the hate that it's spewing out. I love it. All right, so let's go ahead and move this guy. Let's go ahead and move it. And I need a dark spot near this position. So straight on behind it, maybe. Yeah, straight on behind it, because there's lots of mobs right here. We'll set it down, and let's link it. All right, so let's go link this guy, and I wonder if all those mobs are going to die. Let's just find out. All right, so right over here, click. So we're linked. The good things are happening. Back down here, and let's go over to where we left it. And so right here, now the question is, can any mobs... Oh yeah, look at all the drops. So this thing is sending out... Hey, Enderman, come over here. Oh, Enderman got hit and teleported. Cool. Yeah, he's trying to get me, but he can't get in here without getting damaged. Nice! Come on in. All right, so you can still do range stuff. Oh, I killed him way out there! If you've got hate in your heart, my beacon will get you. Hey, Creeper! Creeper, come on, follow me, dude. Come this way. Nice. Well, that does a pretty good job. So if I pump some more power into this guy, you know, I can make like uh, base protection with this. Wonder what else I could do with it. I like it. I like that a lot. Cool. Uh, so I got to play with, you know, attuning some more crystals and seeing. I bet you this would be ridiculously powerful to make things grow. Like this is the world's best garden anchor right here. Hmm, all the possibilities. I think I'm going to call it there, though. That's been a pretty fun day. Uh, so I'm 47 Mark IV, and I hope you enjoyed the episode. You know, if you did, leave me a like or a comment. I always look forward to seeing those. And then I will see you all in the next episode.